Hey guys, tonight we're going to show you how we cook on the induction cooktop. We get a lot of questions about it. Um, what battery setup you need, how big your batteries need to be, how big your inverter needs to be. So we're going to put that to rest. We usually cook on the car, but tonight we're going to use the 100 amp hour battery here. It's a portable battery. Anyone can buy it and just throw it straight in the back of their car. And you don't have to have a massive big setup in your car and you can move it around. You do need to ensure that it's got the uh, capable inverter. Yep. Now this, this cooktop, they're not expensive, this induction portable one, yep. uh, and they'll cook up to like 2000 watts, but you don't need that. You need to cook it about eight to 900. Yep. Uh, so you're gonna want an inverter, like a continuous pure sine wave inverter of a, at least a thousand, right? At least. This, this iTech World one, it peaks at 2000 and it has a continuous output of 1300. It's gonna suit what we're doing. Really great display, so we can monitor a standard meal uh, that we cook for can camping, what sort of drawer it's gonna have. We get a lot of questions. How much power do you use cooking a meal? Yeah. So this is a really standard meal we cook, probably a standard meal we think a lot of people cook camping. Um, and we'll be able to tell you from start to finish, from 100%, how much power we draw. Yep, let's do it. Let's go. Get a beer, mate. I'll get two, you want one? <laughs> yeah, please. The meal we're cooking tonight is just a, a camp curry. Power on. Sweet, we're at 100% on the screen there. Uh, if you can't see it too bad, you're just gonna have to believe us. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go down to about 1,000 watts. I'm actually gonna turn that down to about 800 watts. On the inverter there, we're drawing about 1,000 watts out of the battery. So oh, there you go, you can see it kicking in and out as the induction kicks in and out. Mm. Cool. So we're just throwing some spices in there. Uh, cook them for a couple of minutes now. Then we're gonna add some uh, chicken. Cook lightly for a couple of minutes and then um, put the base sauce in after that. Still at 800 watts on the induction cooktop here. I don't think I'll change that throughout the cook. Um, we've used it a fair bit and find that that 800 watts is a pretty good cooking temperature. On the uh, inverter, we're drawing about, it, it pulses in and out. So when it kicks in, we draw about a thousand watts and then it will drop out for you know about half that time again and draw nearly zero watts. So this induction cooktop here is just, yeah, it's a Breville induction cooktop. I mean, there's you walk into a sort of good guys or something like that, and you're going to have five different options. They're all around that $100 mark. They all do the same job. Um, we've used this Breville one for uh, oh, well and truly over a year now, nearly two years. And uh, it's been in the back of the car, bashing around, going up and down dirt roads, and it's still going. So, you yeah. know. If I had to recommend one, this would be at the moment, but I'm sure any of the other $100-ish sort of induction cooktops are gonna do the same job. So we've just browned that chicken off uh, and thrown in a couple of the carrots because they'll take a bit longer to cook. Uh, now we've got our base sauce to put in there. So I'm just chucking in a couple of extra veggies now that won't take as long to cook as the chicken. And uh, then we'll throw the main sauce in and we're nearly done. <laughs> Man, it smells good, eh? Oh, sensational. It's actually juicing up as those veggies cook down a bit. So, um, so what do we reckon about the chili, mate? Is chili to go or? Yeah, actually, I reckon a curry should make your nose water. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah. I mean, you don't want to not when be you, able to When taste you start questioning if you like it or if it's too hot, it's the right amount. Yeah, you just like water. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the answer is, I do like it. <laughs> right. So we're going to add a bit of rice to this curry. I right, say so rice has had about 45 seconds, a minute to heat up a bit. I'm gonna turn that off. So that's a meal done. That easily feed four people. I mean, it's three of us tonight. Uh, we've used just over 30%. So we're at 68% on the battery. So if, if you were gonna cook that, you know, three times a day, you were gonna cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you're obviously at 100 amps. So if you've got no way of charging your battery through the day, your battery's only gonna last one day. If you've got solar set up or you're driving or something like that, you're gonna be able to cook one or two meals on it a day, no problems, still run your fridge, still run your LED lights, and have no problems at all. That's on a 100 amp hour battery. If you've got a bigger setup with a 200 amp hour battery, obviously more capacity, you could do it more times without charging it, but it's a pretty viable option. Um, and in like a small form factor like that, you can throw on the back of the camper trailer or your car or whatever and use. It's a pretty great way of cooking. I mean, you look at that, most people take a gas bottle as big as that. And then that, if you've got solar, is constantly rechargeable. 
Whereas something like a gas bottle, if you're away for a while, I suppose, take a long time to empty it. But, you know, it is something that you have to constantly monitor and worry about emptying. A battery like this, you can constantly fill it up just with solar. So there's some great advantages to it. Probably our preferred way of cooking when we're in a hurry, we want instant heat, easy setup. We love it. So definitely don't judge me on my cooking. If you've got any questions, chuck them in the comments below. We'll answer them. And if you want to support the channel, if you like this, if you want to see more of this, let us know. It's definitely different to our usual content, which is trips away. But if you want to support us, I mean, watching is the best thing you can do. Like, subscribe, all that caper. But if you really want to help us out and you want some cool stuff, we've got True North Adventure stubby coolers, shirts, True North Adventure shorts, all on the website, truenorthadventures.com.au. Jump over there. Have a look around. Thanks for watching. Morning. We're doing a coffee. Oh, we're doing an induction. I'll go again. We're... Yeah, okay. Morning. It's coffee time. We're going to test the induction on cooking. Uh, measure the. Um, hang on. Morning's a lot good, eh? Uh, a, a bit of an experiment. I need a coffee.